So what are you getting done today? I want to get a regular low taper. I don't want to do a taper fade. I just want to get a regular low okay. taper. Square off in the back with a slight tape. Uh, with a slight taper in the back as well. Okay. I want to get. I, want, I like to keep the length on the top. Maybe like three quarter. Uh, whatever. How much you want to think. How much you want to cut the top. I want to do a neat side part. Okay. And I have a picture here for a lineup. I have similar hairline shapes. Okay. I was thinking maybe like some maybe, maybe like some hard corners. Okay. Know, so you want to make the corners a little bit a little bit more distinct? Yeah, like, okay. like a mask on the back, but not, not like enough to where it pushed back to my sure, sure. natural look. And like, then the length here on the sides, how low do you want to go? I like to keep it real low. Like I just want I want to keep the bulk. Maybe like blending into the tapers. Okay, alright, so. Like some scissor work or something? Okay, yeah, we'll do some scissor work here, but we'll keep this, uh, some of the length here. Yes, sir. And then we'll do a lower taper. Yes, sir. Okay, and you want this tapered out or do you want me to square it off as well? What do you think will look best? I think tapered out, and then we, we can square it off still in the back and then make it like a light taper. Okay. Okay, you wanna do that? Yes, sir, that would be right. man. Let's do it, man. Yes, sir. What's up YouTube? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. Um, today we're going to be doing a fairly simple haircut, man. This is, you know, it's not a the typical blurry um, fade, but it is a cut that Barbara's got to know how to do, right? So he wanted scissor work on the sides. And so what I started doing was I started at the top of the sides, right? And that's going to be the longest length that I have. And, then, and we're going to make sure that we're using a guideline all the way around to make sure it's even all the way around at the top of the sides where I'm working right now. Once we've completed that, we'll do scissor over comb. Now, the reason why I'm doing vertical sections like so is because I don't I want it to be more layered, more flat, um, more more graduation right which is from shorter to longer i don't want a whole lot of weight up there and once we've completed that all the way around like you can see we're doing scissor over comb now i do wish i would have got a, a bigger comb it would have been easier um but i kind of started doing scissor over comb out of nowhere i wasn't like really planning on doing it um and then once you do scissor over comb all the way around and you're using the comb you know to guide your shears you got to connect the sides or the top to the sides. So we connected the top to the sides and now we're actually cutting the top length and we're taking uh, about half inch to inch thick sections all the way through to finish cutting the top, making sure it's even. Now that all the shear work is done. So I put a little bit of pro a product, a little bit of clay in his hair and now we're going to blow dry it blow dry it to the um you know the the hair growth uh direction that it wants to grow All right and you can see uh, any of this weight that i see that's not quite connected once we blow dry it i went ahead and connected so we're going to go ahead and start this this taper remember he wanted it he doesn't want like a, a high taper fade or anything like that he wanted a low taper and I kind of convinced him to, to fade it completely out on the sides where he didn't want it faded out in the back. Um, and so we did the bald line, the blade open. You saw I did the, the one open and then the half. Number two open. And now we're using the one and a half guard. The one and a half guard is closed now. And now we're using the one closed. And essentially like because his hair you guys can see the the it's light in, s in certain areas especially around his hairline um we have to really try to take our time in detail because we don't want to patch him up considering you know some areas are lighter than, than others and i really just want to give him you know the best cut i could give him man this is this cool guy man like really dope he, he definitely watches the channel he came in with a uh 245 tank top um so i thought that was cool man he's, he's, 
obviously he supports the channel and he enjoys it um he's not a barber but he uh he is a fan of the whole movement like he went he watches um 360 Jeezy, watches me he watches the whole team man so i thought that was dope and you know we were just having some cool conversations man all right so we're, we're blending the back here and i started out with a number four dropped to a three um and really i'm gonna start blending down because i it, he wants to keep a lineup a squared lineup um but have a light taper and so i blend it down just to make sure that we're not gonna cut it too short because you know sometimes in the neck area um there could be some hair that's overhanging that makes it look like there's hair in areas that there isn't so you know i got it down to about a one and a half guard and then i started to line it up and what i noticed that in the corners it's lighter than the middle of his back taper and so i'm gonna have to lighten the middle up of that taper to get it to match to the corners and i'll show you what i'm talking about All right, so right here, this is the area I was talking about where I'm, I'm focusing on lightening it up so that it matches the surrounding areas. And it's just density, right? It's like, it's the hair is, is more dense in this area. Um, and that's kind of typical, man. That's a, you, you're gonna find that that's a common thing. And so when you do have a client that has this, this challenge, then you know, it's good to try to lighten that area up and get to match. Especially when it's a lower, like lighter, more subtle taper. Typically, I just like to bald it out, but you know, you gotta do, you, you gotta have a balance of, of your pro professional um, ideas of what a cut should look like and what your clients want. You know, you gotta have a good balance of the two. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and taper this side, and it's kind of the same process, bald line, blade open, and I blended out that line. Now we're doing the one guard open, and we're gonna blend that out with the half guard. Drop down to the to the half if you have to. Sometimes, sometimes you know, there'll still be a, a little bit of, of a line or not enough transition so I'll just drop down to the blade open um, now we're gonna use the number three guard to debulk over here remember we don't want to go up too high with this taper so it still should be dark in this area I have my number four guard now and I'm just working into the scissor over comb that we we did before we started this taper All right, so now we're gonna use our one and a half guard. It's all the way open. I'm gonna close it as needed. And if there's still a line, you could drop down to that one guard open again and close it. Just spend a little bit of time detailing it. All right, now we'll start the lineup process. Remember, he, he wanted the lineup to be sharp, man, but it's his C cup was, was definitely, his C cup and the neck taper, that area was gonna be definitely the sharpest I could get it. We wouldn't be able to get the vertical bars that, sh that sharp unless I pushed them back. And I kind of convinced them during the haircut to just, you know, Let's, let's tastefully line up the sides. You know what I mean? Um, and, and he agreed with it. He was good with it. He liked my professional opinion. And um, that's what we rocked with.
All right, now we're gonna put a little bit more clay in. Now, one thing I noticed once I once I finish styling his hair, um, and it, I want his hair to look good regardless of how we style it. So he had this bulk, this piece of bulk right here. That was getting on my nerves, so I went ahead and did some scissor over comb and just cut that up. And I think I think that was a good call. Yeah, that look that looks better in my opinion. And my man, he he came he came from pretty far too, man. He he drove a, a, probably like an hour, forty five probably forty five minutes to an hour to come see your boy, man. So But like from this angle, I'm feeling the way it's flowing, man. I like the flow of it. I like the shape of it. I think it, I think the cut looks pretty good on him. I like that we kept, you know, enough weight there at the top of the sides um, to to have that that nice squared shape. So guys, this is the before. Now check out the after. Hey, if you're new to the channel, man, please do subscribe. It helps the channel out a bunch. We always dropping content, man. I'm going to be dropping content Sunday through Thursday this week, every single day. So look out for the next videos. If you like the, the cut, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I'll see you on the next video.